Here's how to use timers in Game Lab on code.org. First, I've made a variable called star, and I've drawn it on the screen inside the draw loop. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have a background in there too to cover up all the other stars you've created previously. So you can't see any difference right now. Um, there's my star. It's just something simple. So if you want to make him disappear after five seconds, for example, um, you can say um, if the well, let's see, grabbing it greater than, and then now you're going to say if world seconds is greater than five, then you want him to um, set his visibility to false. Let's try that. We should probably watch the seconds. He's already disappeared, but let's watch it again. One, two, three, four, five. And he disappears. Now, another way you could do this, I mean, this way is fine, but you could say, um, uh, grab a less than. And you could say, if world.seconds is less than 5, draw sprites. And it's going to do the same thing. Uh, now, this world seconds works as long as you're wanting to make something happen only one time. But if you want something to repeatedly happen, like say you want him to, say you want the star to move to a new location every 5 seconds. Uh, well, you can't reset world seconds to zero, so you got to find another way to do that. So uh, I'll put this back, get rid of this, and now uh, we're going to have to make a timer. So under variables, we're just going to make a timer, and we'll set it to zero to start. And then every time the draw loop comes by, we're going to say timer equals timer plus one. Uh, and let's just watch that for now. Okay, so when we start, you can see this timer, and it's moving way faster than seconds. In fact, it's moving at the frame rate, which is 30 times per second. Um, okay, so if we wanted something to happen, like this thing to disappear, actually we're going to move its location. We've already done disappear. We're going to we're going to take a sprite x and a sprite y star. We're going to give them both a random location. We want to keep it on the screen, so maybe between 50 and 350. Okay, so it's going to jump around all over the place right now. But we don't want that to happen. We only want it to happen uh, occasionally. So in this case, we can say timer is greater than, say we do 60, that would be every two seconds, because it's 30 frames per second. Then we want it to move to a new location. So, watching the timer again, we can say 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi, and now it starts to jump all over the place. So, if you just want it to jump every two seconds, then you don't want it to keep flashing. So what we need to do is, after it jumps, we need to set the timer back to zero. And that's what you can't do. My first method, the uh, world.seconds, you can't reset it. And now 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi, 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi, 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi. This is really good for an enemy that you want to bounce around. Now if you want it to be every one second, you just do a 30. And now every one second, it's going to move around. And that's how you control timers.